Hello. Okay, so uh, today we're going to be uh, discussing section B and section C, okay, of your paper two questions. Uh, and I hope that you have your answers ready. Okay, I will uh, show you the scheme uh, and I will show you certain things that are important uh, and uh, certain things that um, you should avoid doing next time. So it does not mean uh, that walaupun saya tanda kamu betul bahawa sebenarnya jawapan kamu itu adalah tepat. Okay, so we want to aim to get a better answer. So don't be satisfied nah, just because saya bagi kamu betul. Oh, okay lah, saya betul sudah, so tak payahlah tengok. Okay, that's a very poor attitude to have. Huh? Okay, even if your answer is correct, get the, the proper answer. Okay, so that you know where you can improve. Okay, that, yeah, I want to try to do this one. Alright, so let's begin. Okay, so... Paper 2, section B, section C, and we start off with these two, this question, question number 9. So diagram 9.1 shows two identical boats, R and S, with the same mass. Okay, boat R is paddled by one person and boat 2, S is paddled by two persons. Okay, in five minutes, the distance travelled by R is 100 meters and the distance travelled by boat is 200 meters. Everything is in this question. Okay, sudah ternyata dan sun. So what is meant by mass? Huh? Mass is... Um, Okay, some of you, you wrote like this, huh? because kamu punya formula is F equals to MA, right? So you say, oh, mass is the ratio of force to acceleration. Huh? <laughs> okay, mass is the ratio of force to acceleration, which is technically correct. But as I said, lah, uh, in our physics paper, kan, we don't work on technicalities. Okay, we work based on the definitions that have already been given to you. And mass is actually a definition from form 1. Okay, mass is the amount of matter. That's it. Okay. Jumlah jirim dalam satu casat. Amount of matter in an object also can. Okay, but the key word is just mass is in the amount of matter. How much matter is in your uh, is in the object, which is why mass doesn't change uh, wherever you go. Okay, you go to Jupiter, you go to Mars, your mass is the same because you have the same amount of matter. Okay, some of you, instead of writing matter, uh, you wrote amount of particles. Uh. Okay, I probably would have given you correct, but actually it's technically not correct. Okay, because it's not just particles. Dust is also particles. Okay, but <laughs> we're not talking about dust particles. Okay, we talk about matter. Uh. Okay, matter is more important. Okay. Uh, sorry, admitting somebody. Okay, so based on this diagram, compare the distance travel, one, compare the force applied, two, compare the acceleration. So three comparisons. Okay, now I want to tegur orang yang tulis jawapan ini kan dalam tiga ayat yang bersambung-sambung. Okay, I have already mentioned this uh, countless number of times. And I feel very tired uh, of saying this same thing again and again. If you are given three things to compare, write it in three different point forms. So that is very clear, you know. A lot of you are not right to this one, but baris, 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 and then I have to read everything done. What a bother. Okay, compare the distance travel. Uh, so S is more than R. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, the force applied is S is also more than R. The acceleration will be S is more than R. Okay. Um, since there is no two diagrams, so we have to use the letters R and S. Lah. Like you put the cakap this in between the both R and S. Okay. And as I said before, this is my version of the answer. Okay. But actually, you're supposed to give the full answer. The distance traveled by S is greater than the distance traveled by R. The force applied by S is more than the force applied by R. We use the same four words. Bigger, smaller, higher, lower. Okay. Uh, saya masih nampak orang yang ini ya, longer distance. Okay. Longer distance, faster acceleration. Uh, ini semua, as I said, is perkataan haram. Ha. If you have written your answers in this way, please, and saya tanda betul lah, Please know that it is not because you are betul, uh, it is because saya kasihan. Okay, so I give you the pity mark. You should not be getting pity marks, uh, guys. You should be getting the actual proper marks. 
Okay, so jangan kamu mengharapkan for pity marks because sometimes not everybody is that uh, kind. Okay, guys, I already mentioned this, but we still have people who are going back into this very bad habit now of writing shorter, longer, faster, and slower. Okay, these are words that you should not be using. It is correct in English, huh? but guys, I teach physics. I don't teach English. Okay, although my English is better than you all. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so please, please, please. Okay, bigger, smaller, higher, lower, greater, lesser. These are the only six words that you should be using. Okay, and you need to set it in your mind. Okay, that uh, you need to use these words. Avoid using the words longer, shorter, faster, and slower. So I believe mumbabel lah, pasal ni for one hour. So don't make me mumbabel. Okay, relate the distance traveled by the boat and the force applied. So one relation. To make a deduction between the relationship between the force applied and acceleration of the boat, most of you all got the second one correct, and quite a number of you all did this wrong. Huh? Sebab kamu nampak distance dulu baru force bahkan. So a lot of people, a lot, you know, ini bukan satu dua orang. Huh? A lot of people, right? The bigger the distance, the bigger the force. Okay, and I suspect that you write it this way because distance yang duluan muncul baru force in the question. Okay, what have I said about this question? I have said also, and I'm going to remind you again and again and again and again that when you write a relationship, the relationship must make sense. Okay, the relationship must make sense. The bigger the distance, therefore the bigger the force. Maksudnya, jarak itu yang mempengaruhi daya. It doesn't make sense. Okay, it doesn't make sense. So, this is a trap question, uh, which is very common in paper 2. Okay, because we want to differentiate uh, between the people with brains and the brainless people who just write according to the question. Okay, ada itu. Okay, it is designed to find, to differentiate uh, between the brainless and the brainful. <laughs> brainless and brainful. Okay, so please avoid these kind of things. Uh. When you write also, you must write with brains. Think for a moment. Does this relationship make sense? The bigger the distance, the bigger the force. Really? No, it is wrong. Okay? The bigger the force, the bigger the distance. Okay? Truthfully, I'm pretty disappointed with the people who wrote this one. Huh? Okay? I mean, secara jujur, I'm very disappointed when I see these kind of answers. Because it just means uh, that you're just copying down the question without any brains. Okay, people, even if you copy, must copy with brains. <laughs> okay, must use your brains to copy one. Nobody copies brainlessly. We are humans. Okay, so, but most of you got this correct, la, force and acceleration. Because even if you just copy this without brains, most of you got this correct. Okay, the bigger the force, the bigger the acceleration. You need almost everyone got correct. I think everyone got this correct. But this one, la, okay, this one says sangat kecewa. Okay, because you shouldn't be getting this wrong. This is five free and easy marks. You just have to engage your brain. Okay, that you don't even need to memorize anything for this. You just have to use logic. Okay, and I'm sure that logic is something that everybody has. Well, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, next question. Uh, okay, this one is a... Actually, this is a pretty difficult explanation question. Now. It's difficult because dia punya kehendak soalan is just describe the motion and explain why the motion is like that. Okay, so if we break it down into four marks, four marks means four points. Four points means uh, here is two marks and here is two marks. Okay, wow. I have been admitting Luther in and out of this room for quite a number of times. Okay, so this part, okay, this part is two marks and then this part is two marks. So each mark, each part is describe the motion, tell me what kind of motion it is and then explain why the motion is like that. Okay, so I'm going to go, this is section A, this is section B. Yeah? So section A, the motion is, uh, ada banyak jawapan lah, but I want to see from P to Q or from 0 seconds to 20 seconds. If I don't see this, uh, the entire thing is wrong. Okay, from P to Q, okay, you can either say that it is accelerating, 
okay, or increasing velocity or decreasing acceleration. Okay, so if you can't get this the first time, it's okay. Watch the video again and I'll repeat this answer, but you can always, you know, press pause on the video later. Lah. So the answer, so mark number one, lah, first mark is from P to Q, okay, the object is accelerating or from P to Q, the object is moving with increasing velocity or from P to Q, the object is moving with decreasing acceleration. This is obviously the best answer, decreasing acceleration, okay? Because on a velocity time graph, okay, on a velocity time graph, this is decreasing acceleration. This is increasing acceleration, okay? VT graph, huh? Okay, velocity time. Okay, but it doesn't matter. If you cannot get this, as long as common nampak, they're accelerating or increasing velocity, pun cukup lah. Set a remark juga. But, um, the schema, the schema pemakahan is very specific. You must mention dia punya tempo masa. Dari P sampai Q atau daripada 0 seconds to 20 seconds. It must be mentioned. If you just cakap at the beginning, it is accelerating, saya tidak terima. Okay, memang saya reject. Okay, so this is mark number one. Mark number two is why is it accelerating? Okay, it is accelerating because the downward force is greater okay, than the upward force. Okay, this is the second mark. Daya ke bawah adalah lebih besar daripada daya ke atas. Because it is dropping into the water lah. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so be careful with this. Of course, you can also talk about weight and buoyant force, uh, but it's a bit dangerous lah. Sebab kita bukan weight dan buoyant force saja yang terlibat di sini, there's also water resistance. So if you don't mention water resistance, dia memang salah. So to be safer, we write downward force is greater than the upward force. Okay. Now, section B, yeah? okay, part B over here, I'm going to change color so that just to differentiate, but basically the template is the same. Okay, from Q to R or from 20 to 40 seconds. Okay, what kind of movement is this? This is uh, constant velocity. And kawan kepada constant velocity is no acceleration. So if you mention either one of these, constant velocity or no acceleration, you get one mark. But you must mention from Q to R or from 20 to 40 seconds. Must mention this. Okay, one mark. And then the explanation to why that there's no acceleration, it is because the downward force is equal to the upward force. Kita ikut template yang sama dengan ini. In this one, there's acceleration because the downward force is greater. But because there's no acceleration here, only constant velocity, the downward force is equal to the upward force. Okay, when I was marking this, uh, I had a lot of pretty interesting answers, huh? uh, but um, a bit sad. Lah. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of people, they check up as a resistance of the water, but you cannot talk about only the resistance of the water. Lah. Okay, there's also the buoyant force and there's also weight. Okay, so to play it safe, huh, we just talk about the total downward force and the total upward force. Okay, so it's a very uh, penjelasan yang menyeluruh. Lah. But quite a lot of you gave a lot of good answers uh, for this. Okay, so kudos to you for that. All right. This next question uh, is the sampan question. Uh. So you are required to modify the fishing boat into a speed boat that can travel faster. So this is our main aim. Okay. Forces of uh, motion, forces and properties of materials uh, based on the characteristics of both engine power and size of propeller. Okay, and the size of propeller. Now, uh, as I said before, I am just going to mention this, uh, you know, sekaligus. Nanti kamu tengok video ini balik dan kamu pause and copy down the correct answer. But there are a few things I want to say lah. This is the, this is the, uh, the scheme. Okay, so the shape of the boat should be either streamlined or aerodynamic. Saya tidak terima ini, sharp at the front. Okay, uh, yeah. 
I guess some of you have forgotten the word, but sharp at the front uh, is not the right word. Uh. Okay, sharp at the front uh, is tajam di bahagian depan tau. Tajam di bahagian depan, maybe it makes sense to us bila kita cakap bahasa pasar, but tajam bahagian depan uh, is tajam macam pisau. It cannot, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so I'm very sorry lah. If you say sharp at the front, because you forgot the word aerodynamic, let this be a lesson to you. Remember the word aerodynamic. Okay, it's a very commonly used word. Actually, the better word now is streamlined. Sebab ini adalah sampan, boat. Boat is streamlined. Okay, now, explanation less resistance ah. Ramai orang cakap less water resistance. Okay. And then, of course, there's also some people say less air resistance. Okay, now this is, I would say that less water resistance is a better answer than less air resistance. Okay, because air resistance, the streamline shape doesn't really help with the air resistance. It helps more with the water resistance. But it's very dangerous. I feel it is very dangerous for you to write air and water resistance. Okay, I would rather you just write less resistance. Keep it short simple and precise okay i mean bukan salah lah dia tidak salah i saya rasa saya tidak tanda salah pun okay cuma is dangerous okay it's a dangerous answer use less resistance okay low density this is a set answer guys okay less low density and low mass okay or light okay they ringan this is a set answer okay you should not be forgetting this you should okay Jangan tulis, sorry, huh? to increase the uplift force. Uh, streamline doesn't help with the uplift force. Huh? The uplift force is helped by the thing called the hydrofoil. Okay, which I will talk about in a while. Huh? Okay, thank you for the question. So, um, this is a very common one. Huh? This is a very common uh, suggestion and explanation. Low density equals to low mass or low density equals to light. When you want something to be light, Okay, the suggestion is low density, the explanation so that it is low mass. Jangan terbalikkan. If you write the suggestion is low mass and then the explanation is light, doesn't make sense. Low mass means light pun. Okay, so there are a couple of people, they write here low mass and then here they write light. Saya tidak terima. Okay, because it's the same thing. You're giving the same suggestion for the explanation. Okay, but when you give uh, the suggestion as low density and then the explanation as low mass, it's good. Okay, engine must be high power, okay, and I, either one of these three also, it's kind of high force, high acceleration, high change in momentum. A lot of you write high power so they can go faster. Saya terima lah. Okay, can go faster, boleh lah. Okay, big propeller. Okay, big propeller is the correct one. Ramai yang tulis, many propeller. Huh? Okay, Rama at least many propeller. You tell me, uh, guys, I know this is a speedboat, okay, but this is about the same size, you know. If you put banyak banyak propeller di sini, makan, okay, one propeller over here, one propeller over here, one propeller over here, okay, you have such a small boat with so many propellers, uh, also no point, okay, you should have big propeller, okay, big propeller, many, many propellers, I tidak terima. Okay, big propeller so that you can have large force, high acceleration, high energy, large change in momentum. Okay, or yeah, some people also write can go faster. <laughs> so can lah, saya terima. Okay, the, this one, most of you wrote this, uh, strong material of boat, waterproof, fiber, aluminium boat. Okay, of all these answers, saya sangat tidak, um, saya sangat tidak galakkan, not fiber grass, uh, fiber glass. Saya sangat tidak galakkan kamu untuk menyatakan dia punya bahan. Okay, I really don't suggest that you mention the type of material. Better to use the characteristic of the material. Strong material, waterproof material, ini saya terang. Okay, tapi the explanation must go together with the suggestion. And this is where it is difficult. If you say strong material and then tiba-tiba kamu cakap waterproof as the explanation kan, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so uh, the best one is, is uh, not, actually this is not easily broken, uh, okay, or long lasting, okay, tahan lebih lama. Now, so uh, to answer the question just now, so there was a question uh, just now that was asked, uh, this is one of the 
explanation is, is to increase the uplift force. Huh? Okay, to increase the uplift force. Now, if you remember the explanation that we did last year, only one thing uh, on the boat can help to increase the uplift force, increase the buoyant force, huh, is by adding a hydrofoil. Okay, if your suggestion was to add a hydrofoil, and then your explanation is to increase the buoyant force, Saterima. Okay, I will, I will accept this because hydrofoil uh, is a good modification. Okay, but these are the basic, uh, these are the basic suggestions that are given in the scheme lah. Saya mau kasih tunjuk. Okay, dan uh, saya mau kasih terangkan you know, antara jawapan yang popular yang saya tanda salah lah. Okay, less air resistance, many propeller. Ini yang ramai orang jawab ini, many propeller. Okay, I cannot accept because many propeller dia terkaitan lah uh, with a sampan that has been changed into a speedboat. Many propeller is if you have a big ship. Uh, kalau kita cakap pasal ship then we can talk about many propeller, many big propeller. That's good, but this is we're talking about sampan. If you have many propellers, can it doesn't make sense? Okay, like banyak kipas for such a small room. Okay, doesn't make sense. Okay, oh dear. Okay, question ten. Huh? it looks like I may have to spend one more class just talking about section C. But what is the meaning of longitudinal wave? Longitudinal wave is a wave where um. Ramai orang dia just cakap parallel lah, tapi apa yang parallel dengan apa? Vibration, okay, of particles is parallel to the direction of wave propagation. Okay, now I want to talk about this definition. Sebab mereka yang ansa ini ansa. Uh, those of you who answered this, ramai yang cakap, the vibration of particles is parallel to the direction of the wave motion. Okay, this is one word, or direction of the movement of the wave. Uh, okay, ini saya tidak terima. Because waves don't move, waves propagate. Okay, saya, I have mentioned this at the very start of this year. I said when we talk about waves, Waves is very specific. We don't say waves move. Waves don't move actually. They just propagate. Okay, just like a Mexican wave, bahkan, you're not moving around the whole stadium. You just move your hands up and down. But you see the wave propagating. Okay, so uh, the word motion, uh, saya tidak terima. Okay, wave motion, uh, wave movement. Waves don't move. Okay, waves propagate. Okay, antara definisi yang selalu ramai orang salah. Okay, compare the displacement of the ball, amplitude and loudness of the sound. I mentioned this. Please make sure you write it in 0.4. Okay, displacement of ping pong ball, 10.1 is less than 10.2. Same thing with the amplitude, same thing with the loudness. Ketiga-tiga pun sama. 10.1 is less than 10.2 or 10.2 is greater than 10.1. I want to talk about loudness. Okay, sebab ramai orang cakap louder. 10.2 is louder than 10.1. 10.1 is softer than 10.2. Once again, please don't use the words that are haram. Okay, use the words that are specific and very easy to use. It's universal words. Okay, relate the loudness of the sound with the displacement of the ping pong ball. Uh, the greater the loudness, the greater the displacement. Relate the loudness of the sound with the amplitude. The greater the loudness, the greater the amplitude. Kalau kamu kasih ini terbalik, pun seterima. Okay, the greater the amplitude, the greater the loudness, also I can accept. Okay, um, but this is a, an example of a case where memang the first one yang dahulu, the second one yang kemudian. Okay, the one that about the acceleration and the force just now, our distance and accelerate force, na, yang saya cakap saya kecewa tadi kan, um, please be very careful. Okay, always put a little bit of thought into your relation so that these five marks kan, kamu tidak uh, tersayang. Okay, explain how the sound wave is produced. Okay, this is how sound wave is produced. We need to talk about how longitudinal waves lah. Okay, longitudinal waves lah, are, uh, uh, this one. So, the first one is sound wave is produced when the uh, diaphragm, uh, okay, when the diaphragm vibrates. This is mark number one. 
Okay, sound wave is produced when the diaphragm vibrates. Okay, mark number two is when the diaphragm moves forward. Okay, uh, air molecules, sorry, not air molecules. Apa saya cakap ni? Sorry, sorry. Okay, when the diaphragm moves forward, okay, uh, then <coughs> uh, compression, okay, of air molecules is produced. So the key word here is compression. Okay, see any compression. Okay, bila vibration ke depan, compression. That's mark number two. Mark number three is the diaphragm moves backward. Okay, bila the diaphragm moves backward, what is the opposite of compression? Is rarefaction. Okay, rarefaction of air molecules is produced. Mark number three. Okay, and then the final mark. Okay, the final mark is. Um, the this one okay direction of wave propagation is parallel oh dear my handwriting <laughs> okay direction of wave propagation is parallel to the direction of vibration of air molecules That's the four marks. So I need to see the words compression, rarefaction, and then of course the diaphragm vibrates is one mark. And then the once again, the definition of a longitudinal wave. The wave propagation and the vibration of the wave is parallel. So that's how the sound wave is produced. Okay. All right. Okay. I want to talk about this question. Okay, because uh, there are a couple of answers which I'm pretty impressed lah. Ramai orang yang menggunakan jawapan yang sangat-sangat impressive. Okay, um, maybe you studied very hard and maybe you saw that this question is very similar to the black book question. And you gave me an example answer that was almost uh, a carbon copy of the black book answer. Okay, so very good for you lah. You are able to memorize the black book content. Okay, but I want to say this. This ship already has a sonar system on it. It already has a ranging system. Okay, used to that. Dia memang sudah ada. You're supposed to modify the system. Okay, this is the question that they ask. So, when, when I saw this answer, okay, and then I compared it with the black book answer. So, one of the famous black book answers is install a radar. Okay, yeah, install a radar, uh, install a, uh, install a GPS. Okay, this is the black book answer, lah, which some of you gave. Okay, you probably memorized the black book, good for you. Okay, but I want to explain why I did not give you the map. Because the ship already has a sound navigation system. It already has a sonar system. So if you say install a radar, it's like, hmm, okay. You buy a car that has a car horn, nah? then you say how to improve the car, install a horn. Doesn't make sense. You already have the horn. And so why would you do that? Okay, so again, nah, if you are going to memorize answers from the black book and then you know tell out the same answer again, make sure that the answers must make sense. Don't just you know kasi keluar saja semua yang kamu belajar. Okay, uh, and and you know, and just expect that you'll get the full 10 marks like, just because you copied, no, sorry, not copied, just because you, you know, uh, remembered it directly from the black book. Okay, so ultrasonic wave or very high frequency of the wave, high frequency, high energy. A lot of you put high energy over here under characteristics. And I found that in the black book, they also put high energy here, okay, in characteristics. Uh, saya tidak terima. Okay, saya tidak terima partly because the schema tidak terima and also partly because how do you make a wave high energy? Okay, you have to make it by high frequency. So if you write ultrasonic, high frequency, if you write high frequency, then your explanation should be 
high energy. If you write here ultrasonic and then here high uh, frequency, also cytorima, lah. okay, able to penetrate the deep sea, can travel further, short wavelength, this one, uh, the reflection of wave is the phenomenon, okay, to produce the echo. Now, some of you, transmitter, receiver, or transducer, transmitter satu baris, receiver satu baris, bukan? So, sini sebagai satu betul, ini sebagai salah. It is not that it is salah, it is just that you are talking about the same point. Okay, and I find that actually, kan, I shouldn't even be giving you a point for the transmitter because the ship already has a transmitter and a trans... Uh, Sorry, it already has a transducer. Okay, so, tapi because other dalam schema, so saya bagi satu sahaja yang betul. Okay, if you give me two and expecting me to give you two marks, it cannot because it comes under the same, uh, the same explanation. Okay, transmitter to transmit wave, receiver to receive wave. Okay, small percentage of absorption by water is this lah. Okay, the wave uh, not easily absorbed by water. Okay, also can and the only way is for it to be ultrasonic wave. Okay, so uh, di sini saya mau tegur sikit lah, because some uh, some people they are, you know, I guess you guys are really rajin lah, you know, you memorize everything that is in the black book huh? and then you come up with the exact same answer, you know, it's like word for word same answer. Saya pun, wow, saya tabik lah, because uh, I compare your answer uh, with the black book answer, you know, it's really word for word. Wow, so saya macam, Wow, this is so amazing. This student uh, can actually memorize the black book and come up uh, with the answer that is 100% the same. Okay, it's 100% the same answer. Okay, but unfortunately, I cannot give you the 10 marks. Lah. Okay, uh, because not everything is numb with this question. Okay, so, so sad. Lah, uh. Can you memorize, memorize also? Uh, <laughs> again, lah, must memorize with brains. Okay, hebat kan? Boleh copy or? Uh, no, boleh, eh, apa, boleh, bukan copy, sorry. Boleh, boleh hafalkan dan memorize lah, seratus peratus lah, sama weh, sama. I'm so amazed when the, at your amazing memory power. Okay, question number 11. What is meant by heat? Heat is a type of energy. <laughs> okay. Uh, ramai orang yang bagi saya definition of temperature instead of heat, Tem Temperature is the, the the degree of hotness. The degree of hotness is temperature. Okay, but heat is just a type of energy. It is one of the more easier definitions. Lah. Okay, explain in terms of heat transfer, how the air ventilation system work to cool down the house. Now, there is a word uh, that ramai orang guna yang saya sangat-sangat tidak tahan. Lah. Uh, the fan absorb the heat. Okay, bukan satu, bukan dua, quite a majority of people who answer this question like to use this word. Nah. The fan absorb the heat. Okay, I, I want to ask you, uh, what fan in this world uh, can absorb heat? Nah? Absorb uh, is like sponge, you know, sponge absorb water. Uh, that one I understand. Nah. Fan absorb heat. Nah. Uh, okay, lah. means uh, if I touch the fan, nah, the fan is hot because of the heat it absorb, right? Does it make sense? No, it doesn't make sense. Fan absorb heat. Nah. Saya, langsung, <laughs> saya langsung tidak baca lah selepas itu. Okay. Ayo. Okay, so, but uh, in all fairness, lah, of all the four explanation questions, this is a slightly more difficult explanation question. Lah. Okay, because uh, you have to talk about how the heat is out and then how the air is, the cool air is in. Lah. So, point number one. Wall of house. Okay, is hot. Okay, uh, so temperature of house increases. Okay, that's point number one. In on a hot day, uh, okay, the wall of the house is hot, so the temperature of the house increases. Okay, point number two. Uh, my number two is the hot air moves up. And ramai orang cakap ini, uh, this is very good, okay? Because the density of hot air is low. 
Okay, so the hot air moves up. Very, very good. Okay, point number three. Okay, the fan forces the hot air out of the house. Uh, ini yang ram, di sini lah yang ramai orang cakap because maybe because uh, you know you can't think of the word the correct word for this huh? so you write a lot of people a lot of people wrote this the fan absorb the heat out of the house no uh, the fan just forces lah if you I mean if you think of it technically actually the fan sucks out the hot air dia menyedut keluar uh, the hot air out of the house that's also a good word but the word absorb I cannot lah absorb is like sponge Okay, brains absorb information. Ah, no one absorb boleh. The fan absorb the hot air. Saya tidak terima. Okay, and then the last one is cool air remains in the house. Okay, that's the fourth point. So the wall of the temperature is hot. Uh, the wall of the house is hot because you know of the hot day. So the temperature inside the house increase. Hot air moves up because it's low density. The fan forces the hot air out of the house. The fan sucks out the hot air because it's near paling dekat di atas. Okay, and then the cool air remains in the house. Okay, actually, how many of you are got ventilators like this uh, at home? I'm sure everyone has a ventilator at the kitchen, kan? The one on the wall. Uh, that's pretty much how it works. When the fan moves, uh, it sucks out the hot air. It doesn't absorb the hot air. Okay, be very careful with that. All right, so this is the question. The this is the ten mark question. Now, um, most of you got this correct, lah. So the correct choice, uh, for this, uh, is white metallic wall, okay, solar panel, because you see, ah, uh, this house got no solar panel, okay, and then of course we use wood layered wall, okay. But the one that most people did not mention, uh, is the number of ventilation fans. This uh, has two. This has two, this has two. Okay, this has one. So quite a lot of you got this one wrong. Huh? Uh, you should actually mention it has more ventilation fans. Somebody's mic is on. Okay, you should actually mention that it has more ventilation fans. Hmm. Okay, more ventilation fan. Bukan have ventilation fan because all four houses are the ventilation fan. So you cannot say have ventilation fan. Okay, so and as I said, nah, characteristic wrong, saya langsung tidak tengok explanation. Okay, if this one is wrong, this one automatically saya letak salah sudah. Saya tidak tengok pun. So in order for you to get the explanation mark correct, your characteristic must be correct. Just like section B, also the same. Okay. Okay. Uh, so wall of house is white metallic. A lot of you like to say good reflector. Some of you say white color absorb heat less. Okay, wood layer wall is a good heat insulator. Okay, with solar panel. Okay, this one ah, turn light energy to electrical energy is the main function. Ramai yang tulis environmentally friendly. Uh, ada yang tulis uh, safe electricity. Saya tidak terima. Okay, because the function of the solar panel is to turn light energy to electrical energy. Okay. Then the best choice is house D. Okay, the tiny house D over here is the best choice. And look at the reason, uh, guys. The reason I do is ED saja. Wall with white metallic paint, wood layered wall, solar panel, more ventilation fans. Do you see me writing this over here? No, I don't. Okay, yet, yet, masih ada orang yang menulis ED semua di dalam sini. Forcing me to read all this and then making me wonder whether I should give you that one extra mark. No, ah, please remember this. Okay, done. Okay, and this is where I, I get very annoyed. Okay, because there are still some people ah, that write this, you know. The best house is D ah, because it fulfills all the requirements. Okay, ah. Makes sense, Bakal. Very logical. It's a very logical answer. It fulfills all these requirements. House D fulfills all these requirements, but I give you wrong. You know why I give you wrong? Because I have already taught you that how to write the reason. Saya sudah ajar kamu macam mana mau tulis the reason. If you give me a lazy answer like this, you get a lazy mark, which is zero. 
Okay, this one, I have mentioned this, so I will, saya tidak akan berbelah bagi pasal ini. It makes sense, it technically makes sense, but unfortunately, kita tertakluk dengan skema pemarkahan dalam SPM. So you have to learn to adapt to the schema pemakahan. Okay, and and there are still some people that give me answer kan yang bukan dalam bentuk jadual. Okay, and I have said before, I have told you in your UP2, ah, if you don't give me your answer in jadual, saya terus bagi kosong. Okay, I'm, I'm just not even going to bother to read. Okay, so don't count on my kindness for this now, because I already said you must give me your answer in an in a table form and in the correct table form. If your table form also is wrong, ah, okay, pun saya tak saya terus bagi kosong. Ramai orang kau dia buat macam ni, dia dia fikir table form kan, terus dia tulis okay, house A, house B, house C, house D, has ventilation fan, has white wall. Apa ini? Table apa ini? No, 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 no. Okay, guys, please, please, please learn the correct technique menjawab. Okay, uh, even your SBP book uh, has you know, the model answer for you in a table form. Okay, please learn the correct uh, answering method. Okay, saya boleh membebel ni sampai ke hujung dunia. <laughs> Okay, most of you answer this question when you answer this question, but unfortunately you got this answer wrong because you forget that the depth is needs the depth needs to be changed to 0.3 meters. So ramai orang dapat ni salah, walaupun dia punya formula betul. P equals to rho g h. So you get uh sorry 1000 times 10 times the sini kamu to this 30 ya yeah? salah. It has to be 0.3. Three. So pressure, sorry, the air pressure is this one, not 3,000. Sorry, the pressure because of the water is 3,000 pascal, but the air pressure, okay, is 3,000 plus the atmospheric pressure, which is 1.01 times 10 to the power of 5. 1.01 times 10 to the power of 5 equals to 104,000 pascal. Okay, that's the answer for question one. Then the volume of the trapped air, this is Boyle's law. P1 V1 equals to P2 V2. So you will get P1 is 1.01 .01 times 10 to the power of 5 times 250 because they jack up 250 in the air. Okay, equals to P2 is this one, 104000. You count V2. So the question is, Kenapa di sini H kita tukar pergi meter, tetapi V kita kasih biar jat dalam 250 centimeter padu. Okay, why do we not convert this to meter cube? Okay, because in Boyle's law, the units cancel each other out. Sini P, sini P cancel, sini V, sini V cancel. So it doesn't matter what units you use, as long as you use the same units. But because this is a formula and not a principle, okay, uh, where there is no ratio, so we have to use H in meter. Okay, this is commonly trap. It's a common trap question now. Okay, they sengaja bagi 30 centimeter ini. Okay, because here is where people will make the mistake. Quite a number of you made this mistake. Actually, all I think, yeah. Okay, actually, all of you made this mistake. 30 centimeters is to change to 0 0.3. Here it doesn't have to be changed because uh, ratio wise, they are, you know, kamu akan dapat. 242.79 okay centimeter cube v2 lah v2 equals to 242.79 okay i'm going to finish this section lah okay so so that we can look at question, section paper three yeah in the next uh in the next session okay uh this is a electromotive force okay internal resistance uh circuit okay we know because the voltmeter is up here lah Okay, so what is meant by the internal resistance? Uh, internal resistance is pretty uh, apa, specific. Huh? They are the resistance against the moving charge due to the electrolyte in 
a dry cell. Okay, this is not an easy definition to remember, lah, because the original definition for resistance, ah, original definition is ratio of potential difference to current. Okay, any resistance biasa, tapi internal resistance is the resistance against the moving charge due to the electrolyte in the dry cell. Dia berlaku di dalam battery. Okay, in the dry cell. So, so yeah, it's a slightly difficult uh, definition to remember. Okay, this explanation question is not really an explanation question, uh, but, uh, you know, it is, a. Uh, well, some people think that this is easy because they bagi all the steps. Lah. Okay, uh, some people... You know, find that it's a little bit more difficult because uh, steps are not given. Hold on, huh? Okay, so show the expected voltage against current. Okay, now internal resistance. Huh? If this is V against I, no unit, so it doesn't matter, but this is the graph. Okay, color Ohm's law. Ohm's law V against I huh? is this graph. But this is the graph that we're talking about this. This is for the internal resistance electromotive force. Okay, and explain how the electromotive force and internal resistance of a dry cell can be determined. So, the internal resistance okay, equals to the gradient of the graph. Okay, the EMF E equals to the intercept. On the V axis. So one mark for the graph, one mark for menyatakan internal resistance equals to gradient of graph, and one mark for the EMF equals to the intercept on the V axis. Okay, ini memang pengetahuan lah. You have to know this, uh, and I noticed that most of you that answer this, uh, you got this lah. Except for the people that answered this way lah. And it means sangat bad luck lah. So this is the actual graphic one. What happened to the magnitude of the internal resistance if the dry cell is used for a long time? The more you this one, the internal resistance will increase. Okay, if you use the dry cell for a long time, the bigger the time, okay, the internal resistance will increase. Ini pengetahuan lah. Okay. Uh, so diagram 12.2, this one. So we want to count the effective resistance. Notice that this is uh, this in this, this and this are parallel, but this two is salary, uh, series. So we have to settle the series first. Uh, 5 plus 5 is 10. So the effective resistance is 1 over R equals to 1 over 5 plus 1 over 10. When we calculate 1 over 10, sorry, when we calculate 1 over 5 plus 1 over 10, we will get 3 over 10, 1 over R. But I want R. So R equals to 10 divided by 3, which is 3.333 ohms. Okay. Um, I, I think that uh, when I wrote this, I want this to be in decimal places and not in pecahan. Okay. Because uh, as far as I know, I have not seen any um, resistance uh, in fraction. Uh. Okay. So, yeah. So I want it in decimal places. Okay, the reading on the voltmeter depends on this, and we use the formula of uh, E equals to V, eh, sorry, e, the internal resistance formula. Okay, because we have the internal resistance and we have the electromotive force. Okay, so E equals to I. Um, Sorry, I, uh, R plus small r. We want to find I first. Okay, because we don't know what this reading of the voltmeter is until we know what is the current. We need to know what the current is. Okay, so E is 1.5 equals to I, R is, the big R is 3.33 plus the internal resistance is 0 0.5. So you get that the current flowing is 0 0.392 amps. And then we use Ohm's law, V equals to IR, okay, which is 0 0.392. And the R that we use is not 3.33 plus 0 0.5, huh? it's just 3.333. Okay, so we will get 1.304 volts. 
Okay, this is a slightly tough, uh, slightly uh, tough calculation question. Uh, okay, of which, uh, as I said before, uh, if you're not very good with calculation questions, doesn't matter, move to the 10 mark question because it's the 10 mark question that will give you the most marks. Okay, 10 mark question. So here's the mini fan and here's the rechargeable and then parallel and so on. No, so the good thing is when they give you a jadwal, you can actually study the jadwal first now. Okay, everybody has used a mini fan, okay, either like this or the one that, you know, the one that face face is okay? I think Nigel has a mini fan, Jia Wen also has a mini fan, kan? I mean, if I remember. Lah. Wow, it feels like so long ago kan, when we were in class. Wow. So source of energy, rechargeable or non-rechargeable? Of course, the logical sense will be rechargeable dry cell. Lah. Okay. Arrangement of batteries. Ah. Guys, this is very logical. Ah. Arrangement of battery and arrangement of light bulb ah, is different. Okay. We want the arrangement of batteries ah, to be series. Then, when you put a torch light, nah, how do you put the batteries? Do you put the batteries next to one another like this? Or do you put the batteries, you know, bersambung? Of course, you put the batteries bersambung. The batteries must be in series. Okay. The diameter for the uh, moving coil, okay, should be thick. Okay. And then the, the, the blade, of course, the blade must be plastic. Lah. Okay. Metal blade is not a good idea. <laughs> okay. So, if you take a look at all the circles that are done, uh, it's very obvious that V is the best choice. Okay, so learn to analyze the jadwal like this before you come up with the right answer. Okay, most of the time, uh, um, most of the time, uh, kamu akan dapatkan ada satu pilihan kan keempat empat itu akan recycle. Sometimes, sometimes, okay, sometimes ah, uh, dia tiga per empat. Okay, it doesn't fulfill all the requirements. This has happened before uh, in SPM. Okay, tiga jad yang di circle, satu itu tidak kena. But we still use that one. The one with the most circles is the best choice. Okay, so this is how I would answer this lah. Again, in table form, no table form, saya langsung tidak tengok. Wrong characteristic with the correct explanation, still zero. If you need, if in order to get the explanation mark, you need to get the characteristic correct. So rechargeable dry cell, less internal resistance is the best answer. Do not have to replace often, long lasting, don't have to change often. Save money. I don't remember whether I mark it correct. If I mark it correct, then go for you. Lah. Okay, in series, so they produce a bigger voltage. Yeah? Okay, quite a lot of people, they wrote nah, series characteristic, produce more current. No, uh. no, 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 no. Produce more voltage. Okay, more EMF like, is the better word. Okay, but more voltage set terima. More current set tidak terima. Okay, the wire should be thick so that it is less resistance. Less resistance means less heat loss. You don't want to have a wire, uh, the wire very thin, kan, then they cepat panas. Okay, not good. Lah. Of course, this makes the fan a little bit more expensive because, you know, the wire is thicker, but it is good because there's less heat loss. And then of course, plastic, a lot of you right down there is safer. Uh, it doesn't harm the hand. Okay. And then of course, the standard answer for plastic is always lighter, lighter or less density. Okay. Characteristic, sorry, the best fan is V. And then the explanation is one, two, three, four, all from here. Nothing on the explanation is written over here. Okay. Just to remind you of the answering technique. Okay. And that's it. Okay, that's it for paper two. Uh, if you feel that you deserve to get an extra mark at a certain place or wherever, okay, uh, you can always DM me and uh, and then we will discuss lah and see whether uh, I can give you that extra mark over there. Some of you are looking for extra marks huh, so that you can uh, night grade. Okay, so um, I hope that you can also night grade lah because you know, night grade is always good lah. <laughs> Uh, so I think everybody is here today, except that uh, ada yang masuk keluar, masuk keluar, masuk keluar. Lah. Macam, I don't know how many times Prem and Elisha and Luther have gone in and out of this class, but I'm going to assume that everybody is here because I think everybody is here uh, today. I'm going to stop recording.